Daytime highs again up to 91 with sunset at 711. A pretty good stretch of comfortable weather until a few effects are felt from Hurricane Eric. And then we also have Tropical Storm Flossie making its way closer. So we'll continue to keep a close eye on that. But for now, back to the desk. All right, thank you, Tasia. Time now, 558, movie and music news. Now starting with the hottest song of the summer. Yeah, you might be able to guess what it is. Here's David Daniel with the Hollywood Minute. Town Road is a record setter. The Lil Nas X song featuring Billy Ray Cyrus is number one on the Billboard Hot 100 for the 17th straight week. No tune has ever stayed atop the chart that long since it was created. Lil Nas X says the song has changed his life. The 21 bridges in and out of Manhattan. Shut them down. Then we flood the island with blow. 21 Bridges is now on its third release date. The crime thriller starring Chadwick Boseman was originally due out this summer, then bumped to September, and now it's moved again to November 22nd, where it'll go up against Tom Hanks as Mr. Rogers in A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood and the animated sequel Frozen 2. Anyways. We can't let it happen again. It Chapter 2 not only continues the story of the 2017 horror hit, it takes longer to do so. According to IMDb, the sequel runs two hours and 45 minutes, a full half hour longer than the first film. Maybe it's no surprise that the film's total five hours of screen time, after all, the Stephen King novel on which they're based is more than 1,100 pages long. In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. Now you guys got it stuck in my head now. <laughs> it's so overplayed. Old Town Road, and that song just broke a record. That's right, 17 straight weeks on the Billboard 100. Just beat One Sweet Day by Mariah Carey and Boyce to Wow, that's like a high bar. Mm -hmm. yeah. And she just tweeted about it. She's very happy. She's my oh. friend, so like she just <laughs> told me this you guys, morning. You guys are like this. Like this. <laughs> like the, the horse is in the back, right? Yeah, all right. All right. We're going to start singing it. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, we better, better not do that. This morning's top stories in the full hour of Island News starts right now. Now, from KITV4, Island News, this is Good Morning Hawaii. Coming up on Good Morning Hawaii, we're following breaking news from West Oahu. The SWAT team had to talk down a man who pointed a gun at his daughter. We'll tell you what we know so far. Plus, a suspect and police exchanging gunfire in a Waianae neighborhood. The latest details on that dangerous situation in a live report. And a global human rights organization now stepping into the situation on Mauna Kea, why they're now urging the governor to put an immediate stop to the tensions over TMT. Well, good morning, Hawaii. It is July 30th, 2019. Want to get back outside with a look at your weather and your traffic on this Tasia Tuesday, <laughs> we're calling it, because there's a lot to talk about today. That's right, and trade winds are one of them. We do have those winds coming in from the east about 10 to 20 miles per hour for today. Sticking around for the week, expected to ramp up around Friday, and that's all due to Hurricane Eric expected to pass through the south. Right now, winds in the double digits for the most part for Oahu, Lihue coming in at 15 and Kahului at 14. Temperatures is still quite comfortable in the upper 70s. Lihue and Honolulu at 80. Kahului at 79 for the moment, but don't let that fool you. Yesterday, 80, 97, so swapped. So definitely another hot day ahead. Temperature highs are expected around 89 for your midday in Kahului. Again, expecting even warmer conditions, especially with some cloud coverage making its way over the eastern end this morning. And also a bit of showers coming within bands. So Hilo Hawaii, Hamako coast expected to get a nice shower by uh, the next half an hour so that's going to come in bands and then the next one right behind that about 50 miles out now the western half of the state also expected to see clear conditions this morning partly cloudy conditions in the afternoon an increase of trade showers later this evening and of course we're continuing to track hurricane eric now at category three expected to move toward the south over warmer waters we will continue to track that but even closer tropical storm flossy will have that in the next weather hit but for now here's Look at your traffic. If you're heading to the airport today, we do have alternating lane closures once again at the off ramp from the H1 West. Just give yourself some extra time. 8.30 to 1 o'clock is when those closures do take place. 
Windward side has been pretty much nice all morning and dry, just a bit breezy. And starting on Thursday, we do have the Pali Contra Flow extended those hours for your morning and evening. So we have those updates up on our website. If you're coming in from the west side, slow going traffic pulled over to that triangle right off that Farrington off ramp in the H1H2 merge. You can see three vehicles involved in this incident. No HPD on scene, so definitely going to cause some distraction there. Slow going traffic until Kaahumanu and then it clears up through Kaanohi. Your drive time's into town from the west side now at 76. East side looking good at 19 minutes. Over to you. So thank you. Time now 6.03 and some breaking news overnight out of Makaha. SWAT team negotiators had to talk down a man who barricaded himself inside a home on Water and Manuku streets. Police say just after 8 last night, a woman called them saying her dad was pointing a gun at her. The standoff lasted for hours before the man was taken into custody around 1 this morning. And we now know that the weapon involved was actually a BB gun. The daughter told police she believes her dad was drunk. And new this morning, a man has been arrested for attempted murder after allegedly shooting a Honolulu police officer. This all happened during an armed robbery investigation in Waianae. KITV 4's Mackenzie Stasko live outside of police headquarters this morning with the very latest. Mackenzie, any details on the officer's condition this morning? Yeah, Lindsay, please tell me this morning that the Honolulu police officer who was shot yesterday in Waianae is currently in stable condition. This is what we know about the situation. Now, police tell us several plain clothes police officers went to this house on Alta Street in Pokai Bay around 1.40 yesterday afternoon. They were there to investigate an armed robbery that happened over the weekend. The officers were able to identify three people in connection to that robbery, but at some point, police say a scuffle ensued and a man pulled a gun out and shot one of those officers. That's when another officer, police say, shot the suspect. Police tell me the officer was shot in his right hand and in his chest. However, we have confirmed that officer was wearing a vest. The suspect was also shot. Police tell me he was shot in his left wrist and right thigh. Both the officer and suspect were taken to Queens Medical Center on Punch Bowl. The 47-year-old male suspect was officially arrested last night at the hospital for attempted murder in the first degree. We're still waiting to learn the identity of the Honolulu police officer who was shot, but police tell us he is in his 30s and is a five-year veteran of the police force. And as soon as we get more information, we'll be sure to bring it to you. For now, though, we'll send it back to you inside. Time now uh, 6.05 and Big Island Mayor Harry Kim has been a longtime supporter of the 30 meter telescope, even though many in his community are opposed to development on Mauna Kea. Yeah, last week, Governor David Ige put Mayor Kim in charge of trying to mediate talks between both sides to see if they can find a compromise. The mayor says the issues aren't just about the mountain or even a telescope. It has a lot to do with keeping a community united. And a global human rights organization demanding Governor Ige put a stop to TMT construction. The Hawaii chapter of Amnesty International took their stand straight to the capital yesterday. And joining them, one of the kapuna arrested on Mauna Kea a couple weeks ago. They brought a proposal including a letter to the governor saying the state should have consulted with native Hawaiians whose human rights could be affected by TMT. It is the legitimate right of people to peacefully express their opinion. The command hierarchy must convey a clear message to law enforcement officials that their task is to facilitate and not to restrict a peaceful public assembly. That means, you know, not drawing their weapons, not using tear gas, not using threatening with, you know, um, batons. Amnesty International is now waiting for a reply from the governor's office. All right, time now, 6.07, and when we come back, see how in an animal clinic in Florida going the extra mile to save our furry friends. Plus, a puppy left for dead now doing much better thanks to the community's support. Our morning shakas are up next on Good Morning Hawaii. Stay with us. We'll be right back. If your gums bleed when you brush, you may have gingivitis, and the clock could be ticking towards bad breath, receding gums, and possibly tooth loss. Help turn back the clock on gingivitis with Paradontax. Leave bleeding gums behind. Paradontax. 
Ekahi Ornish Lifestyle Medicines, the first scientifically proven program to reverse chronic conditions like heart disease. It's a nine-week lifestyle modification program focused on eating better, moving more, stressing less, and improving relationships. The staff at Akahi can help you reverse heart disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, lose weight, and decrease your medications. For a healthier, happier tomorrow, call them today. Lease a brand new Acura TLX for only $266 a month from Acura of Honolulu. It's the Miller Lite Tastes All Right Pauhana Series. Heat up your next Pauhana with Foodland. Nothing makes Pauhana at home better than Ono Food and Ohana. And Foodland has everything you'll need. Fresh poke, fried chicken, premium choice meats, and so much more. Stop by any one of their 33 locations statewide. And don't forget the Miller Lite, Pauhana, taken to a whole new level with Foodland. Check it out on KITV.com slash Pauhana. Step Ahead is Hawaii's premier foot store. Our exclusive orthotic inserts relieve pressure off the heels and forefoot almost immediately, allowing you to get back to doing the things you love, no matter your occupation or hobby. If you have foot pain, we can help. We also have a wide variety of support shoes, sandals, and slippers that will help you get the relief you need while keeping you looking stylish. Call today to schedule an appointment or stop by one of our three convenient locations. Grandma gave us her old couch. Uh-oh, found something. They're back. Call Environ Control. For everything you see, there's many others hiding. Environ Control has the solution. Click or call to schedule a free estimate today. Take back your home again. Environ Control. On this Tuesday, time now 609, Tropical Storm Flossy. Maximum sustained winds at 70 miles per hour. It's continuing to move west at 15 miles per hour. And take a look at this track. Expected to become a major hurricane or a Category 2 hurricane by later on tomorrow into Wednesday and then start to weaken. So it will strengthen before it starts weakening by your Sunday. So now we're expecting the impacts more so by your early next work week as it does travel over warm waters. Now we're keeping a close eye on this system because most of our models are showing that it is forecasted to come very close to our Hawaii state. So definitely anything is possible and anything can change, but you've got a lot of time to get prepared and stay prepared and also check out and keep updated on KTV.com. Under the weather section, we do have that hurricane section as well. So we'll keep the updates on there. Next update is at 11 o'clock today. Surface calm for now, two to four for the east and south, expected to bump up even more so due to Eric by Thursday night into Friday. And we do have partly cloudy conditions rolling in by this afternoon for the western half, starting off partly cloudy for the eastern half this morning. Here's a look at your traffic. We do have that accident that continues to give us some slowdowns off of the Farrington overpass right there at the triangle with those freeway lanes after the H1H to merge. Three cars involved in this accident, partially blocking that merging lane, but not, uh, not blocking any major lanes, still able to pass, causing some distractions. So just a heads up there, your alternate through by Pahu and Pearl City are light to moderate. We are seeing a bit more buildup through Waimano Home Road, and then it clears up closer to the state. Stadium, and then we do have clear conditions after Kaanohi into your town spots. Over to you. All right, well, an emergency animal clinic in Florida started a blood donation drive for dogs. So for that, they get this morning's Chacos. Yeah, the Port Ritchie program, Puppies with a Purpose, says six dogs often need blood, especially during the summer months. That's because of heat stroke and snake bites. In July and August alone, typically 40 to 50 furry patients are in need of blood. So the Animal Foundation of Pasco says the process only takes just a few minutes and donors get treated like heroes. He has never been like sedated or anything like that. He jumps up here, he donates a wake, and we make it a very positive experience, loving on him, kind of telling them how good he's being, giving him lots of kisses and everything like that. 
Oh, total good boy there, and the program is free. And because doggy donors have to be healthy, they also get free heartworm and flea treatment, plus a snake bite vaccine to help them strengthen their blood. Hopefully they give them a snack, too, for being blood, blood donors. And back here at home, a puppy found buried alive and badly burned three weeks ago. Now the picture of good health. Lealoha was rescued by Paws of Hawaii, and this is what she looked like when they first found her at a West Oahu Beach sunburn, bleeding, and most of her fur gone. The nonprofit posted an update on their Facebook page yesterday saying, Lealoha now playful, loving life, and healing from all her injuries. And the animal rescue group also gave a big mahalo to her foster mother and everyone who donated supplies. So such a happy ending I there. know, so glad she's getting a new home after everything that happened. Yes, absolutely. Uh, well, time now is 6.13, and still ahead, we have another look at your weather and traffic. But first, I want to give you a live look outside. Can we just take a moment, look at that beautiful sunrise over there in Hilo on the Big Island from our camera at the Hilo Hawaiian Hotel. Lucky we live Hawaii, right? Stay with us, you're watching Good Morning Hawaii. Time now, 6.13, we'll be right back. Personal injury is what we do. We're gonna take care of everything. Our promise to you is that we'll be in the recovery with you. It's the Honda Summer Spectacular event, which means more of this. The kind of elation you can only experience after getting a great deal on a Honda Civic or Civic hatchback, or an Accord. All come standard with the Honda Sensing suite of safety and driver assistive features. And as you can see, all will provide you with plenty of joy. Come be a part of it today. Get a great deal on the Honda Civic and find your happy place at the Honda Summer Spectacular event. We always wanted to move into our own home. It took us a couple of years finding some place that was perfect for us. We were just like, okay, how can we afford something like that? Angela helped us understand the process bit by bit. Treated us like family. That relationship was more than a financial transaction. That was the difference between the other places and Hawaii State Federal Credit Union. Oh my goodness! This is our superhero. <laughs> Being diagnosed with any type of lung cancer or mesothelioma caused by asbestos is a devastating thing. That's where the Hawaii Personal Injury Law Firm of Gallagher, Day, Robertus, and Waxman can help. We have been the only law firm in Hawaii for the past 40 years representing asbestos and mesothelioma patients. All of the lawyers in this firm and all of the staff are Hawaii residents. If you live in Hawaii, were exposed to asbestos in Hawaii, and have been diagnosed with any type of lung cancer or mesothelioma, contact Gallagher, Day, Robertus, and Waxman today. You try hard, you eat right, mostly. You make time when you can, but sometimes life gets in the way and that stubborn fat just won't go away. Cool Sculpting takes you further, a non-surgical treatment that targets, freezes, and eliminates treated fat cells for good. Discuss Cool Sculpting with your doctor. Some common side effects include temporary numbness, discomfort, and swelling. Don't imagine results, see them. Cool Sculpting, take yourself further. I don't know how I tell somebody they're not enough. The man I end things with today is not going to expect it. <laughs> I don't know if I want this. The Bachelorette Live Finale event continues tonight on ABC. On this Tuesday, we're continuing to track the latest within the Central Pacific, Hurricane Eric now Category 3. In the Eastern Pacific, a tropical storm, Flossie, expected to bring us impacts as early as early next week. So definitely keeping a close eye on that system. And just this morning, a new disturbance now starting to brew a little bit behind tropical storm, Flossie. And that has a lot of disorganized clouds and showers in that area. So we'll continue to follow that. Again, we are approaching those busy months of hurricane season. Today, trade winds coming in from the east about 10 to 20 miles per hour. We do have this system just toward the northeast, an area of a low-level trough. This disturbance bringing us bands of clouds and showers, more so affecting the eastern end this morning, western end by this afternoon. So you can expect a bit more cloud coverage, a bit warmer conditions as well. Temperatures 89 will feel a bit warmer. Packets of sunshine more so for our Oahu. Temperatures for the leeward coast 89. Maui County will be breezier, but we are expecting partly cloudy 
cloudy conditions this morning. 92 is what we're expecting in Kahului. Hawaii Island humidity levels will be up by the afternoon for Kailua Kona. Windward side and also Hilo side will see passing showers throughout the day, starting off this morning nice and calm. Two to four for the east and south, a flat to two for the north and west. Now here's a look at your traffic. Shutter lane closures from one of the freeway in the westbound direction. This is from Fort Shafter, King Street, off ramp through Ahula Street overpass. That begins in about 45 minutes till 3.30. So just a heads up for some distraction in that area. That accident that we had right there in the triangle at the H1H to merge has just been cleared, but we do have traffic backed up all the way through Waikele. Touch and go traffic down from the H2 southbound direction. So heads up in that area as well. And it's pretty slow throughout Waimalu, clearing up through Ka'anohi. You're all turning around on Kamehameha Highway. Clear through Pearl City, just some touch and go traffic through your Waipahu areas. And then your east side drive is nice and light. We just have some touch and go traffic through West Hind Drive. 18 minutes into town, West side into town 76. Over to you. And time now is 618. Now to another frightening encounter with a bison at a national park. And we heard about the one from Montana a few weeks ago, but yeah. this time a 17 year old gourd and tossed in the air at a park in North Dakota. Yeah, that last one you mentioned going viral. Certainly don't want to mess with them. And Kenneth Moten gives us a first look at that and what's coming up on Good Morning America. In this morning's GMA First Look, bison attack. A 17-year-old is recovering and speaking out. Released from the hospital after being attacked by a bison and thrown six feet into the air. At first, I kind of didn't believe it. Oh my God, I'm getting charged by a bison right now. The teen says he was hiking in North Dakota's Theodore Roosevelt National Park on Saturday when he came across the animal. According to the teen, he was walking at a distance between the lone male bison and a herd when he says the bison struck him from behind. There was nothing that I did to aggravate him. And then all of a sudden, I kind of got this feeling that something was chasing me. And then all of a sudden, he just throws me into the air. This coming just one week after a nine-year-old girl was thrown in the air at Yellowstone National Park. So what could be causing these attacks? We'll have the answer coming up at 7 a.m. With your GMA First Look, I'm Kenneth Moten, ABC News, New York. in the beginning, but that plug quickly faded. Luckily, there's Febreze Plug. It cleans away odors and freshens for 1,200 hours. <sighs> Breathe happy with Febreze Plug. I've had muscle cramps for as long as I can remember, but now that I'm using TheraWorks Relief, they have stopped. This is the only thing in my entire life that has actually worked. Get TheraWorks Relief today, available in stores everywhere. Time now, 621, and coming up in the next half hour of Good Morning Hawaii, a man is dead after a house catches fire in Pololo. Yeah, we'll hear from the neighbors who heard that man calling for help and say that that home went up in flames in just minutes. And a statewide poll puts local perspective on the 30-meter telescope. We'll tell you how many Native Hawaiians voted in favor of construction. But up next, a World War II veteran on a mission, why one man is hoping to meet with the governor of every state all in the spirit of giving back. Stay with us, time now, 621. Good morning, Hawaii. We'll be right back. Living with diabetes can be overwhelming, but it doesn't have to be. Discover an innovative way to better manage your diabetes with Ekahi Wellness. We focus on lifestyle improvements in your nutrition, emotional well-being, exercise, and your medical management, all under one roof. Our team of passionate professionals partner with you and your doctor so you can live with more energy, increase time for work and family, and take control of your diabetes. Your first consultation is at no cost to you, so call us today. 
Pacifica, the new flooring for Hawaii. 100% waterproof, kid-proof, and pet-proof. Choose from 15 colors in stock. Flooring made for Hawaii. Pacifica, available at American Carpet One Floor and Home. Attention, this is a legal alert for anyone who has used Roundup Weed Killer and been diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. If you used Roundup Weed Killer and have been diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, you may be entitled to significant compensation. A multi-million dollar verdict was recently awarded to a man whose non-Hodgkin's lymphoma was linked to Roundup Weed Killer. If you used Roundup Weed Killer and were diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, you may be entitled to significant compensation. Call now. Summertime. Fun for us, but potentially lethal for our pets, especially those with compressed faces. Look for signs of overheating, bright red gums, collapsing, repeated vomiting, unusual breathing. Always have ample fresh water available. Avoid walking during the hottest times of the day and never leave your pets unattended in a parked car. Let's enjoy a safe summer with our best friends. Contact your veterinarian for more information. American Carpet One Floor and Home meets the highest standards when installing carpeting or flooring. Our professional installers represent a total of over 200 years of quality installation. American Carpet One Floor and Home, your flooring experts. Going out tonight? Maybe we can help. We can slap some bling on you. Set you up with a sweet ride. We'll get you a room. And if you're lucky, you may even have a companion for the night. Drive sober or get pulled over. This is Good Morning Hawaii. Welcome back. Time now, 624 on your Tuesday morning. A World War II veteran is traveling to all 50 states to give people an opportunity he says that he missed out on. That's right. And the 100-year-old hopes to meet with every governor before it's too late. Doug Johnson is in San Diego with more on Sidney Walton's No Regrets Tour. Happy nice to meet you. Too. It's, thank you. Sure. This is 100-year-old Sidney Walton, one of the few former soldiers left from the greatest generation. So, Dad, you remember why you joined the Army? To fight Hitler. He's part of a population that some have estimated are dying by the hundreds every day. Thank you for your service, sir. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Walton served in the U.S. Army in India during the war, but as Walton's son, Paul Walton, helps explain, when he was 21 years old before he deployed, he had an opportunity to meet Civil War veterans in New York City, one he never took advantage of. Oh, I still won. I saw him being Civil War veteran. And you regret that to this day? Oh, yes. That's one of the reasons he wants to meet as many people as he can now. Dad now can give everyone a chance to meet a World War II veteran before it's too late. Right, Dad? Yeah. Are you up for that? I'm up for it. All 50 states? All 50 st states. My dad was in World War II also. Oh. Last month, Walton met President Trump at a 75th D-Day anniversary ceremony in Normandy, France. Now he's going to every state and meeting all 50 governors. We've met uh, 22 so far. Gavin Newsom will be our 23rd, so then we'll have 27 more to go. And after the governors, he'll meet mayors, fire chiefs, business leaders, and anyone who wants to say hi. Thanks for your service, Sydney. Thank you. His favorite part about traveling around? I see you out. It's a beautiful country this is. I love it. Oh, and check this out. Sidney Walton, well, he did visit Governor David Ige last October, and his next meeting will be with California's Governor Gavin Newsom next week. Incredible. He's 100 years old. I know, in all 50 states. I'm sure Hawaii was first on the list. He probably wanted to come out here for sure. And thanks to Doug Johnson for that story, and, uh, and thanks to him for his service as well. Your top morning headlines coming up. You're watching Good Morning Hawaii. We'll be right back. Ashley Home Store Hawaii, affordable everyday style and comfort ideal for the whole family to love. 
At Ashley Home Store, we make it easy to bring your dream home to life because we're constantly updating our selection online and in-store. Discovering furniture that fits your changing needs and personal style is easy, exciting, and fun. And with incredible financing and delivery options, you'll never have to put off for tomorrow what you can start enjoying today. So hurry in and make yourself at home. Only at America's number one furniture and mattress store. Ashley Home Store, Hawaii. This is home. One of my biggest things is getting solar on my property in Haleakala was the first option for sure and electricity has gone down 10 to 20 dollars a month. By installing the system on our house, both the PV and the hot water, we save about 250 dollars a month and the system already paid itself off. Any home that has solar, when you, when you either go rent it or go sell it, it's very beneficial to the owner. I mean, I've already recommended it to my neighbors, so they're thinking about doing it too. Electric bills at that time were anywhere from 160 to 250 dollars a month. The company locally takes a real interest, I think, in their people and their customers. And I thought that was something that really surprised me. That's right. Bundle and save with an instant 5% discount off solar, a new roof, energy storage, or a solar water heating system. Bundle any home improvement projects and save up to 10% off. Plus, take advantage of zero down 24 months, same as cash financing. Just call 808-419-3586. That's 808-419-3586. July 15th is National Give Something Away Day. At AARP, we think giving stuff away is nice, but not your identity or your savings, which is why our Fraud Watch Network has tips and tools to protect you and your family from fraud. Today's the day to take action, and AARP is here to help. Summer's not stopping or slowing down. Hurry into the Acura Summer Performance Event, going on now. It's the 2019 TLX for $2.99 a month for well-qualified customers. Visit your local Acura dealer today. Living with diabetes can be overwhelming, but it doesn't have to be. Discover an innovative way to better manage your diabetes with Ekahi Wellness. We focus on lifestyle improvements in your nutrition, emotional well-being, exercise, and your medical management, all under one roof. Our team of passionate professionals partner with you and your doctor so you can live with more energy, increase time for work and family, and take control of your diabetes. Your first consultation is at no cost to you, so call us today. KITV4 Island News Medical Minute, sponsored by Akahi Wellness. Now, from KITV4 Island News, this is Good Morning Hawaii. Right now on Good Morning Hawaii, heartbreak in California after three people, including two children, were shot dead at a food festival. The investigation into that shooting continues as those victims are remembered. Plus this. The second round of Democratic presidential candidate debates is set to kick off tonight here in Detroit. I'm Trevor Ault. I'll have what you can expect coming up next. Yeah, lots to get to. Good morning and welcome back. Time now, 6.30. Now we'll get you right back outside for this trade wind Tuesday, Tasia Tuesday forecast. <laughs> we have a flossy Friday, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, we actually are looking at our systems that are in the Pacific. So definitely, again, want to say prepared. Hurricane Eric is a Category 3 at the moment, expected to pass toward the south. And uh, Tropical Storm Flossy, actually expecting that it may become more of a threat than Hurricane Eric. Most of our models are showing that it will continue to strengthen before weakening by late this week and move more toward the northwest which is where our Hawaii is so we'll continue to track that anything can change but definitely stay updated with that system right behind that another disturbance of disorganized clouds and showers definitely over warm water so a lot of fuel there to be a potential tropical development by later this week Trade winds today, 10 to 20 miles per hour northeast. We are tracking bands of clouds and showers, more so for the eastern this morning, western hand by the afternoon. Here's a look at your Kauai morning showers, partly cloudy. Over for our Oahu, temperatures up to 89 for the leeward side. Breezier from Maui County throughout Hawaii Island. That's the reason why we have that small craft advisory in place with wind speeds up to 25 knots. And surf is calm for the east and south, two to four feet. Now here's a look at your traffic. 
clear through managers drive it actually has improved but the h1 h2 merge we're seeing heavy traffic due to a prior accident plus typical congestion all the way throughout waimalu alternate route has lighter traffic now just through we are seeing kaahumanu that's where most of the traffic is kaahumanu on the h1 through kaanohi moderate as well clearing up as you do make your way either through Mwanalua freeway or the viaduct viaduct is moving better town spots are clear touch and go right by the Lique Lique exit but as soon as you make your way through a vineyard off-ramp clear into your town spots your east side drive is also looking light about 20 minutes into town 76 from YNI through Honolulu back to the desk Tasia, thank you. Time now, 6.32, and now to the latest on that deadly shooting rampage at a food festival in California. Three victims died in the attack. Dozens have been wounded. And this morning, we are hearing from some of those survivors as authorities look into the troubling social media rhetoric posted by the gunman. Janae Norman has the very latest. This morning, stories of survival after the mass shooting in California. The worst possible situation that you could be in. Nick McFarland says he was at the Gilroy Garlic Festival with friends and family when he spotted the gunman loading his weapon. McFarland and his friend Justin Bates were both shot. Doctors told Bates he was grazed by five to seven bullets. The doctor told me these two one up here that grazed my shoulder, if they were an inch to the right, they would have gone into my lungs and they would have been fatal. I'm, I'm a walking miracle right now. I don't know how I'm alive. <laughs> Overnight, authorities identified Kayla Salazar as one of the three victims who did not survive. Salazar from San Jose was preparing to celebrate her 14th birthday this weekend. The other two victims, six-year-old Stephen Romero and 20 five-year-old Trevor Irby. Authorities say the suspect evaded security by cutting through a fence and sneaking onto the festival grounds, then unloading with an assault-style rifle. He was shot and killed in less than one minute by police officers. Uh, those three officers were able to fatally wound that suspect. The shooter has been identified as a 19-year-old who lives just miles from Gilroy. Investigators say he bought the gun legally three weeks ago in Nevada. The owner of the gun shop released a statement saying the suspect was happy during the purchase, adding, we sell to people who we think are upstanding citizens to promote safe sports shooting. I pray to God for all the families. Authorities are looking into white supremacist messages the gunman posted online and a post criticizing the festival just before the attack. But they say the motive for the shooting remains unclear. Janae Norman, ABC News, New York. And taking it back here to Oahu, a man in his 60s died at a house fire in Palolo Valley. It happened on Kalua Place, that's near William P. Jarrett Middle School, just before 3 Monday afternoon. Now flames and dark plumes of smoke engulfed that single-story home within just minutes. Honolulu firefighters found the man in a bedroom. Neighbors tell us they could hear him yelling for help. A woman also lived there, but she wasn't home at the time that that fire broke out. I ran over here and I saw the whole house was on fire. They had the satellite dish and the whole thing was like engulfed in flames. Electricity started to pop off and stuff. That blaze was put out around 4.45 in the afternoon. The cause right now still under investigation. Well, time now is 6.35 and a man has been arrested for attempted murder after allegedly shooting a Honolulu police officer. Now, it all happened during an armed robbery investigation in YNI KITV4's Mackenzie Sasko tracking it all. She's live outside police headquarters this morning with more. What's the latest, Mackenzie? Yeah, Tom Lindsay, good morning. Well, the latest is, as you mentioned, a 47-year-old male suspect has officially been arrested in connection to this shooting where a Honolulu police officer was injured. Here's what we know so far. Several plainclothes police officers were investigating an attempted armed robbery that happened over the weekend. They went to this house on Alta Street in Pokai Bay around 1.40 yesterday afternoon. Again, all of these officers were in plain clothes investigating an armed robbery that happened over the weekend. The officers were able to identify three people in connection to that robbery, but at some point, police say a scuffle ensued and a man pulled a gun out and shot one of the officers. That's when another officer, according to police, then shot the suspect. Police tell me the officer was shot in his right hand and in his chest. KITV has confirmed, though, that the officer was wearing a vest. And police also tell me that the suspect was shot 
shot in his left wrist and in his right thigh. Both the officer and suspect were taken to Queens Medical Center on punch bowl. The 47 year old male suspect again was officially arrested at the hospital late last night for attempted murder in the first degree. Still waiting to learn the identity of the Honolulu police officer that was shot, but police tell us he has about five years experience on the police force and in his 30s. Honolulu police are expected to release more information during a press conference later today. We'll be sure to bring you that information as soon as we get it. For now, though, Lindsay and Tom will send it back to you inside. Switching gears now to the Big Island as the demonstrations continue on the tallest mountain in the world. The 13 other telescopes that are already on Mount Akea are remaining empty right now. And since the start of the tension over TMT more than two weeks ago, staff have worked from remote locations in Hilo and Waimea. But astronomers tell KITV4 they're concerned with the lack of daily maintenance on the telescopes, which could lead to major malfunctions. Typically, between 50 and 70 researchers are working on the summit at the same time. And now, with no access, many critical projects have been abandoned. These are the most productive facilities in the world, collective. Uh, with just uh, not being able to observe for two weeks on Sky, uh, we have uh, lost a year's worth of discovery. Now, because each of those telescopes are funded through private donors and uh, grants, the staff wages that work on those telescopes have not been impacted by this. And after two years of public review, TMT says its final environmental impact statement was approved in May of 2010. A statewide poll by Pacific Resource Partnership in March of 2017 found 72 percent of likely voters supported the project. It was 60% in 2015. In 2018, a star advertiser poll showed that 72% of Native Hawaiian registered voters expressed support for TMT. 23% were against it and 5% were undecided. And starting today, the state will be installing some temporary traffic signals right there at the intersections where demonstrators have been gathered. That's right there on the Daniel K. Inoue Highway where it meets the Mauna Kea Access Road. It's all part of an effort to keep everybody safe. State transportation crews will be working between 9 o'clock this morning and 3 o'clock this afternoon. Now, during that time, traffic in the area will be down to just one lane. So if you're heading out there on the Big Island, expect delays. And KITV4 has continuing coverage on the tension over TMT across our social media platforms. We also have a special section on our website at KITV.com. Well, time now, 6.39, and the stage is set for the round two of Democratic presidential debates. Once again, 20 candidates will come together over the course of two nights. And tonight, frontrunners include Senators Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders. Trevor All is in Washington now, uh, Detroit rather, with a preview of what we can expect. It's time for round two. Beginning tonight, the second wave of debates in the quest for the Democratic presidential nomination. The candidates once again split up over two nights, all trying to knife through an extremely crowded field. Heading into night one, a new Quinnipiac poll shows former Vice President Joe Biden expanding on his lead, now with 34% support, up from 22% at the beginning of the month. Senator Elizabeth Warren is in second at 15%, with Senator Kamala Harris appearing to lose her first debate bump dropping to 12% from 20. Senator Bernie Sanders in fourth at 11%. The frontrunner Biden seems to have shaken off what was regarded as a lackluster performance in the first debate. Senator Warren says these debates won't be about taking swipes at other Democrats. We all have a chance to talk about our vision for America, to talk about our plans for America, to talk about how we see building a future in this country. One area where those proposed policies will likely get a lot of focus is health care. Senator Harris releasing her plan. Under our Medicare for All plan, there will be no more co-pays. There will be no more uh, deductibles. But she's already been met with criticism for the plan's details. The Biden campaign saying she's committing to unraveling the Affordable Care Act, while Senator Sanders' campaign manager says, call it whatever you want, but you can't call this plan Medicare for All. Senator Kamala Harris did see a pretty significant boost after the first debate when she took on former Vice President Joe Biden. That could be an indicator of what's expected tonight and tomorrow. More of these candidates trying to spar or create fireworks in order to get into the spotlight. Trevor Alt, ABC News, Detroit. It's so crazy that there's 20 of them that they have to have, to have two separate debates just to fit everybody in. Um, Hawaii's own Tulsi Gabbard will be on tomorrow night.
Looking forward to seeing what all happens. Absolutely. Time now, 641. The push for gender equality still has a ways to go when it comes to the bank. We'll tell you about some new research that shows the price women are paying. And also, we'll have the very latest on what some are calling the largest security breach at a financial firm. What you need to know to protect your personal information from hackers. Our business headlines are coming up next on Good Morning Hawaii. Stay with us. Whoa, now that's impressive. Yeah, but not as impressive as the amount you can save by switching your insurance to the wide range of products from Island Insurance. Wow. Get impressive savings from Island Insurance. Call 643-4000 or visit islandinsurance.com. I can do that too. Really? Attention Medicare beneficiaries. If you have or are eligible for Medicaid, please listen closely. You may be eligible for a Medicare Advantage plan from Ohana Health Plans with zero or low plan premium. Call 1-800-551-0536 now. That's 1-800-551-0536. Representatives will provide detailed information and help see if you qualify. Ohana Health Plan provides access to a large network of local and regional doctors and hospitals. Plus, some plans may include benefits for dental, vision, hearing, Part D prescription drugs, and more. Ohana Health Plan is contracted with Medicare to provide plans that may be right for you. Call 1-800-551-0536 now. That's 1-800-551-0536. Up for anything? Nissan is. And Nissan SUVs have advanced tech to help guide you to the perfect spot. Stay connected. And take any trail. Nissan SUVs. Up for whatever you are. Get a total possible finance savings of 6328 on the 2019 Nissan Murano. If your child has a common orthopedic condition, that doesn't mean you can only get common treatments. You can choose Shriners Hospitals for Children. Our world-class care is not limited to insurance networks or to what's been done before. The same doctors who innovate treatments for the most complicated orthopedic issues will help your child grow and develop properly. And we'll give your child a whole lot more than medical treatment. Shriners Hospitals for Children, the most amazing care anywhere. Shriners Hospitals for Children, Honolulu. The most amazing care anywhere. 6.44 on this Tuesday, and we're continuing to track those systems in the Central Pacific. Hurricane Eric, a Category 3, expected to move toward the south Friday into the weekend. Now, Tropical Storm Flossie, that track is expected, as you can see, to be a much more of a threat than Eric, but anything can change. Definitely going to keep a close eye on this one. We do have that hurricane section under the weather tab on our website. Closer to home, partly cloudy conditions, as you can see more so for the Malka spots that will continue for this morning. Some isolated showers moving on in for Hilo, Hawaii later on this later morning. Our winds 10 to 20 today. Temperatures 86 to 91. Expecting warm conditions once again. Some partly cloudy conditions for our Kauai even more so by the afternoon. Oahu very light with the showers there over the Ko'olau's cloudier conditions that will stick toward those mountain areas throughout the day. Maui County throughout Hawaii Island a bit more cloudy throughout the day. Temperature highs again up to 91. Bands of moisture moving in from Hilo all the way up Pamakua Coast. And we'll see some partly cloudy conditions in the afternoon for Kailua Kona. So for the east and south, two to four. Now here's a look at your traffic. We did have an accident right here at Kapolei Parkway. It cleared out quite quickly. We have slowdowns coming in from the west side at the H1H2 merge. Typical slowdowns all the way throughout Waimalu. Now Ka'ahumanu, very heavy jam-packed. Aya Heights overpass, that's when we'll see some relief. From Wanalo Freeway, moderate traffic. The viaduct looking better. You might want to take your alternate route through Kamehameha Highway. Actually looking nice and clear this morning. Your drive time's in from the west side. It's going to take you about 78 minutes. East side drive, 19 minutes into town. Over to you. All right, thanks, Tasia. Well, a woman is charged for hacking Capital One in what might be the largest security breach to ever hit a financial firm. 
And she has access to personal information of more than 100 million people for, that were applying for credit. Now, social security numbers, also bank account numbers, emails, all exposed. Thankfully, no credit card numbers or logins were released. It's not just a breach of security. It's a breach of public trust. We should have confidence that the confidentiality of our information will be maintained. Now, the FBI arrested a Seattle software engineer, Paige Thompson. Her roommate is defending her, saying Thompson didn't have bad intentions. She probably just wanted to see if she could do it. Capital One says it will notify customers whose information may have been breached and will offer free credit monitoring and identity protection. All right, well, somebody wants to build a wearable air conditioner. We and use that in Hawaii, right? I, we <laughs> sure could. And women pay more to bank than men do. Jane King is at the NASDAQ now with those stories and more in today's KITV4 Island Business Report. Good morning, Jane. Good morning. Stocks open lower today. We do have Chinese trade negotiations starting to get underway again today. And the Federal Reserve begins its two-day meeting with a cut in interest rates expected. We'll find out tomorrow what they decide to do. Well, a new analysis finds women bear the brunt of banking fees. That's according to Stash, a banking and investing app. Male Stash users, a survey found, pay $182 a year in fees, while women pay $214. That includes late fees, charges for ATMs, also overdraft charges. Well, Honolulu is the most expensive city for groceries in the nation. Rent.com says the average cost of weekly groceries in Honolulu is 69% above the national average. The study looked at the average cost of typical grocery items like eggs, milk, fruits, and vegetables. Shipt is further expanding its reach with a partnership with the Hawaii supermarket chain. It's formed a partnership with Time Supermarkets in Hawaii to begin same-day delivery from several of their locations. So beginning last week, products from local supermarkets markets began delivery in some parts of Maui in the broader Honolulu area and on the island of Kauai. And Sony is crowdfunding a wearable air conditioner. It's known as the Rion Pocket. People could wear it in a specially made t-shirt. It would raise or lower a person's body temperature. The Pocket could be controlled via an app but is not expected to be available this summer. From the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King for KITV4 Island Business Report. And Jane is right about the grocery. When I first, first saw $9 milk, I freaked out when I moved here. Well, that AC that you could put in your pocket, that might come in handy for times in need because it's going to be hot. And Tasia yep. will have a last look at your weather and your traffic when we come back. Stay with us. Broadway in Hawaii welcomes Phantom of the Opera to Honolulu. Tickets on sale now. See the phenomenal new production of the world's greatest love story, The Phantom of the Opera. Premiering at the Blaisdell Center August 7th through September 1st. Visit broadwayinhawaii.com for tickets now. Hey, honey, my foot's stuck. Uh-oh, found something? You should have called Environ Control. For everyone you see, there are many more you don't. Environ Control has the solution to take back your home. Click or call to schedule a free estimate today. Hawaii small businesses work hard for their customers. Chocolea is a gourmet chocolate company in Manoa. They specialize in creating dark chocolate truffles and other treats. In the heart of Aia lies Sumida Farms. This family farm has existed since 1928 through determination and hard work. Aloha Dry Cleaners and Laundry has operated for over 20 years. With three locations, they are proud to service Oahu. As Small Business Lender of the Year, CPB supports local businesses and all they do for our economy. It's another way Central Pacific Bank is going beyond for you. St. Francis Healthcare System is creating something new and exciting. The St. Francis Kupuna Village in Liliha. The former hospital campus is being transformed into a health and wellness community for seniors and their caregivers. Featuring a skilled nursing facility and an array of physicians in different specialties. With future plans for assisted living and independent living and a senior community center. Call today for more information. St. Francis Healthcare System. Creating healthy communities for Hawaii's families. Medicaid 08 is a Hawaii-based family-owned CBD store that specializes in pain relief, anxiety relief, and mood elevation. We offer a wide range of products from oils, capsules, topicals, edibles, flour, and pet treats. I was in excruciating pain. Um, within a few minutes, I was able to feel the difference. Nothing compares to the quality of product I receive at Medicaid 08. If your pain doesn't go away in 20 minutes, you'll get your money back. Visit us today at one of our two convenient locations. 
Got a chip or star crack in your windshield and it's safety check time? Repair your windshield before you go. Your chip repair may even be free, depending on your insurance. Book now. Free quote at aceautoglass.net or call us. GMA this week. Dwayne Johnson, Idris Elba. And if that's not enough for you, how about three epic bachelorette mornings and Hannah B. herself, live and exclusive after the biggest night of her life. Good morning, America. Plus, Pitbull's here too. Good morning, Hawaii. On this Tuesday, 6.52, Bands of clouds and showers moving on in for Hawaii Island and Maui County later this morning. Partly sunny for the leeward side around your midday, partly cloudy for the windward areas with your daytime highs up to 91. Later this afternoon into this evening, partly cloudy for the eastern end of the state. That will continue to move toward the west with winds staying at 10 to 20 miles per hour. So bands of moisture moving on in for our Hawaii Island, partly cloudy throughout our Kauai with your daytime highs in the middle to lower 80s for our old all who we will see partly cloudy conditions more so for those wind for those Malka spots mostly sunny for the leeward sections probably cloudy as well for Kahului with northeasterly winds over 20 and Hawaii Island we have some showers moving in around 10 o'clock sticking around through your midday the afternoon cloud coverage will continue to roll in for the leeward slopes here's a look at Hilo Hawaii right now calm but expecting some passing showers and taking a look at your extended forecast we've got a nice stretch of comfortable weather and then Hurricane Eric bringing us in some wind and some rain and also a bit of surf. How's the surf for today? Maggie P. Good morning, Tasia. We got flat to one up at the North Shore while West Makaha is flat to two. South Shore through Waikiki and me one to three feet with the occasional plus later on as the tide goes up. Sandy's is coming in solid at two to five and Makapu'u is down a notch at two to four. Tide is extremely low right now, rising all day to a high of 2.5 feet early this afternoon. And that's your surf report this morning powered by Movadi Coffee, featuring their line of Aloha Granola, perfectly healthy and delicious every morning. Check out Aloha Granola at MovadiCoffee.com. Back to you, Tasia. Thank you for that, Maggie P. Here's the last look at your traffic. At time now, 6.53. We do have moderate traffic through Mwadalua Road and Mwadalua Freeway, a bit heavier than the viaduct. And then your typical congestion at the H1H2 merge, so a heads up for that. Solid vehicle in Ba'ili at Farrington Highway and St. John's Road. This is closer to the comp. Also typical con congestion from the H1H2 merge all the way throughout Ka'ahumanu. Clears up through Ka'anohi. Coming in from the east side, touching go traffic around University city exit windward areas about a 25 minute commute into town and then here's a look at your wet spots we've been doing pretty good this morning we are dealing with our breezy conditions so definitely keep your eyes peeled for any flying debris out on the roadways drive times from the east side 20 minutes about an hour and 20 from YNI to town now here's a look at what's coming up on good morning america with rob marciano good morning coming up on gma Beware the bison, a 17-year-old attacked at a national park. This time in North Dakota, sent flying six feet into the air. Now he's telling his story. It's all coming up only on GMA. See y'all soon. And we'll take a last look at today's headlines. In Makaha, SWAT team negotiators had to talk down a man who barricaded himself inside a home on Water and Manuku streets. Police say just after 8 last night, a woman called them saying her dad was pointing a gun at her. That standoff lasted for hours before the man was taken into custody around 1 a.m. this morning. And we now know that the weapon involved was actually a BB gun. And switching gears, time now 6.55. In case you missed it, we did give away a free trip to Las Vegas to one of our lucky Good Morning Hawaii viewers. That's right, and she called on the first try. We have a winner, drum roll. That's right, <laughs> Monica Amigo. Congrats to Monica. That incredible giveaway sponsored by Vacations Hawaii. But the only catch, well, we will be giving away trips to Vegas every Tuesday of the week. You do have to call in to our hotline Call in within 15 minutes of us announcing your name. 
on Good Morning Hawaii. So keep watching GMH weekdays from 4.30 to 7 to see if you're next on it's, our winner see, list. Look, that was, that was one of the winners that went there. Look, 114,000 bucks there went wow, there. So, that's you know, good. So the only thing is, uh, you gotta watch out for the grasshoppers in Vegas right now that have taken over, but I, th I think uh, she's probably gonna be spending most of her time on the machine, so that's yeah. That's right, Monica Amigo, needed Amigo, cause I'm yeah, ready right. to go with you. <laughs> I was waiting for someone to say that, yeah. Yeah, so our winner last week, she did go to Vegas, played a $5 slot, bet wow. the max, and won the jackpot of more than $114,000. Congratulations. Congratulations. I, like, I like how she's covering her face, she's like, don't, don't come hit me up for money now. This is my $114,000. So congratulations to them. That's all right. Well, thanks so much for joining us on Good Morning Hawaii this morning. As always, we'll have the latest updates on Island News Midday at noon. You could also weigh in on our Facebook and at KITV.com. All right. We'll have an update to the biggest stories of the day during Island News at Midday. We'll see you then. Aloha. Experience the bold, crispy, mouth-watering flavors Popeye's Louisiana Kitchen is serving up in each and every bite. Providing closed captioning for KITV4 Island News. I'm Nicole Kalakau. I'm a trial lawyer at Levitt Yamani & Soldner. There is no greater feeling than helping people who are at their lowest of lows. I hope you never need us. But if you do, we'll do all we can to help. Up for anything? Nissan is. And Nissan SUVs have advanced tech to help guide you to the perfect spot. Stay connected. And take any trail. Nissan SUVs. Up for whatever you are. Get a total possible finance savings of 6328 on the 2019 Nissan Murano. Time offer that's opening up a world of travel. Apply for the Hawaiian Airlines Bank of Hawaii World Elite MasterCard. And if you're approved, you can earn up to 75,000 bonus Hawaiian miles after qualifying purchases. Plus, you get your first checked bag free on eligible bags and a one-time 50% off companion ticket. Earning up to 75,000 bonus miles can open doors all over the world. But the doors to this limited time offer will be closing soon. Apply at any Bank of Hawaii branch or online at boh.com slash card today. So, you're ready to buy a new car. You know what you want, but not where to get it. You could start by going here, then here, and even here. But by then, the entire day's nearly gone. Or you can save time and go straight to Hawaii's Auto Mall in YPO and compare hundreds of vehicles in one location. Think of all the time you'll save. Time you can spend enjoying your new car rather than shopping for it. Get your next car at the Tony Group Autoplex YPO and experience the difference. Is your Sears battery dead or dying and warranty expiring? Oh, don't worry, we got you. Lux Brodies will honor Sears battery warranties and service all Sears bought tires for free, combining over 55 years of award-winning experience on Oahu with world-class customer service. Lux Brodies makes your car care experience easy. Need a fix forever brake repair warranty? Need a free Uber ride to the mall? Need answers and solutions to your automotive needs? We got you. Please visit LexBrodies.com for details. And thank you.